Hey. Hey, you made it week happy, four. Happy Marriage Monday. Yes. Congratulations and your first digital Easter like ours. Our first digital Easter too. Yeah. How did it world. go for you guys? Was it kind of weird? Was it kind of strange? What about you? You know, I'm not going to lie. Easter in our jammies, not wrestling or wrangling anyone to get dressed to watch service. Kind of nice. Yeah. But I missed you guys. Yeah. I don't think I went through, I watched most of our online services. I don't think I had a dry eye in any of them. Not only were the services amazing, but just I miss you guys. Yeah, 18, 18 services between Good Friday and yeah. Easter. And yeah, we really love you guys. And we just kind of wanted to, on this Marriage Monday, uh, take stock. Uh, we just passed, last week, just passed the 100 day mark of wow. life since the first reported um, COVID-19 oh, okay. case. And so we're kind of look, thinking about what's the next 100 days going to look like. Yeah. There's, you know, talk back and forth about how long we're going to be in quarantine right. in different states and different officials and doctors are saying different things. But if we really want to get the most out of this next 100, I think it's going to mean looking back at what we learned from the first 100 days. Right. So what are some things that you've picked up that might help some of the marriages out there? Well... I know for me personally, um, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, but just taking some time for myself to kind of pull back, journal has been huge. Yeah. Just processing through stuff with Jesus, like mm -hmm. stuff related mm -hmm. to COVID, stuff not related to COVID, like parenting, marriage, frustrations. Those are not connected, by the way. They just came out. They rolled of out that Of course they're not <laughs> connected. You're probably talking about somebody else. Yeah, yes. But Jesus time, um, exercise, like taking time to just literally every day just move um that's been really helpful and um i don't know for me if i've really found like a new normal like mm -hmm. schedule wise no. but i've just kind of had to extend a lot of grace to myself and just do my best every day yeah I start every day uh doing my best yeah you? i think i've made the transition from how long oh god to how great is our god mm. see for me that was important it's a very pastoral thing to thank say. you because I'm, I'm not good at waiting. Yeah. And I just felt like the Lord was saying, get good at waiting. Yeah. But there's a difference between waiting on circumstances and situations and waiting on our Savior. Yeah. One is testing God. The other is trusting God. And I feel like the Lord has moved me to that place of, regardless of how long this stays this way, I want to get the most out of it that I can. Yeah. And so even embracing the... Uh, weirdness, the awkwardness of digital Easter. I, I just started trying to find the joy in it. Yeah. And uh, and then finding the joy of actually being with you and being with the boys. The yeah. boys were really happy that that we weren't, you know, they gone have, the entire weekend. Yeah, we were home and they didn't have to wear shirts all weekend. <laughs> they they so were so grateful for that. went on so many levels. Yeah. But I think it's also caused us to be more intentional. And I'm wondering if it's the same for you with connecting with people. Like I'm more of an introverted personality and I'm actually like really missing people. So I think we've, we've been at this a while when that starts yeah, happening. So imagine where your extrovert husband <laughs> is like. But it's causes to be really intentional, like in just making phone calls, making FaceTime calls and connecting. And we did Zoom calls with our families yesterday for the first time. Um, and it was like, oh, that was easy. Literally, it was so easy to do. And we got to see all their faces. And it was most of them when they figured out the technology, you know, but it was it was really fun. It's made us be intentional about relationship. And I think that's kind of been something that oh, I we should have done this sooner. Right, right. And it was um, our first time, our first Easter, actually intentionally doing that with right. our family on the mainland. And I thought, why did it take something like this a pandemic. to make us realize how much we have? Yeah. And usually that's human nature. We don't realize how much we have until we don't have it. Right. And I just want to make sure that whatever lesson, like it took the Israelites 40 years wandering before where they finally learn the lesson to trust God to head into the promised land. I don't want this to last 40 years. No. I don't even want this to last 40 more days. Yeah. And so I want to, I, uh, however many more wanderings around we're going to be doing in this home, I want to learn the most I can from you, the most I can from my boys. And that's just being intentional. It's not going to yeah. happen accidentally. It's going to happen intentionally. Yeah. So even with our walks every night, 
uh, not only is it good to for exercise, but it's also been so good for you and I yeah. to just be able to hash out all kinds of stuff, uh, the grieving and the frustrations. And by the time we get back here, we've got some good exercise and our heads are cleared and I feel like we're on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what? Husbands and wives, take a walk. <laughs> No, really. Yeah. I mean, if we can give you any advice, take a walk. Even yeah. like for us, that's been our dates. We it, haven't gone out on any dates, but we've been trying to walk every night. And yeah. it's the simplest thing, and it's been so good. So if you can, take a walk. Um, get out, just have some time. Um, and yeah, even if it's just a baby step of intentionality, take it. It'll yeah. be worth it. Yeah, so let's commit this next 100 days to the Lord and yeah. determine where we want to be in our marriage, with our family, most importantly with our God. And regardless of what shape it takes, we're going to know that when we seek Him first, we're going to have everything that we need and we're going yeah. to find exactly what we're supposed to find for these interesting times. For sure. Yeah.